let us now look at the next example uh, from this topic of height and distance and this question also is from one of the earlier SSC exams example 3 well it looks to be a lengthy question let's see how long does it take for us to arrive at the answer right the question reads from a point A on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of a 20 meter tall building is 45 degrees right so important points here the length of the building is 20 meters or I can say the height of the building is 20 meters and the angle of elevation from a particular point A on the ground is 45 degrees right angle of elevation from the point on the ground to the top of the building now a flag is hosted at the top of the building and the angle of elevation of the top of the flagstaff from A is 60 degrees okay so on top of this building there is a flag hosted and the angle of elevation from the same point A to the top of the flagstaff is 60 degrees then it says find the length of the flagstaff and the distance of the building from point A so here we have to find out two uh, measurements one is the length of the flagstaff and the distance of the building from the point A so how does uh, the diagram look like let's let's understand all right this is the ground level we have a building here right let's say the building is AB all right AB is the building right what is the length of the building or height of the building 20 meters okay and I think we'll we'll change this let's say GB is the building from the ground to the point B is the building because A is the point of observation and the point A is the point of observation as shown here now the angle of elevation from the point A to the top of the building is 45 degrees so if we connect A to B right the top of the building the angle of elevation is 45 degrees now on this building there is a flag staff right let's assume uh, this is you know the flag pole and here is the flag here okay now let's see the top point is F next it says the angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff from the point A is 60 degrees so from this point A the angle of elevation of top of the flag staff so if we connect A to uh, the point F the angle of elevation is 60 degrees understand angle of elevation is always from the ground right so 60 degrees is not the angle between these two lines 60 degrees is the complete angle here right this is 60 degrees from the ground to this line of sight okay so there are two lines of sight the first one is a to b and the second one is a to f a to b is the uh, you know line between point a point of observation to the top of the building and a to f is the uh, line of sight between point a and the top of the flag staff angles of elevations are 45 degrees and 60 degrees respectively what else is given the height of this building right this is the building here the height of the building is 20 meters now we are required to find two uh, points here right one is the length of the flag staff let's assume the length of the flag staff is l or its length is L this is the length of the flag staff L and the distance of the building from point A what is the distance of the building from point A distance between A and G let's consider that distance as D all right from point A to the building the distance is G now uh, here we have got two right angle triangles the first one is A G B right A G B is one of the right angle triangles so in this triangle A G B what do we see in triangle A G B right what is given the angle is 45 degrees right A G B or A B G the angle is 45 degrees let's apply tan 45 what is tan 45 opposite by adjacent so tan 45 degrees will be equal to opposite side 20 right this length is 20 and the base is D here right so we can say tan 45 degrees which is equal to 1 we know that tan 45 degrees is equal to 1 right will be equal to the height of the building 20 right which is the opposite by adjacent D so clearly from this we can say the distance D will be equal to 20 upon 1 which is 20 meters so uh, one part of the question has already been answered what is that the distance of the building from point A the distance is 20 meters what else is required the length of the flat staff right for that we need to consider the uh, right angle triangle AFG right if you look at AFG or AGF right look at the right angle triangle in triangle AGF this is the second one AGF AGF now in this right angle triangle we know that the angle is 60 degrees theta equals to 60 degrees again if you apply tan theta what do we get tan theta is opposite what is the opposite side now 20 plus L all right the length of the flag staff is L that's what we have considered the length of the building is 20 so the total length from the ground to the top of the flag staff will be 20 plus L right 20 plus L so tan 60 will be opposite that is 20 plus L by adjacent which is D okay so we can say tan 60 degrees what is tan 60 degrees root 3 will be equal to opposite side 20 plus L divided by adjacent side D 
Now we have already measured d as 20 meters. So let us directly take it as 20. From this, can we find out the length of the flagstaff L? Yes. So we can say L will be equal to 20 into root 3, 20 into root 3 minus 20. 20 into root 3 minus 20. Now based on the answer options, we can either mark 20 into root 3 minus 20 as the answer or simplify it further if the options are simplified. Right? What happens? We can take 20 common. This becomes uh, right L will be equal to 20 if you take common root 3 minus 1. Now root 3 is 1.732, right? Approximately 1.732 minus 1 will be 0 0.732. So the length of the flag step will be 20 into 0 0.732. What will be 20 into 0 0.732? It will be 14.64, uh, right? 732 into 2 is 1464, but this is 0 0.732. So 14.64, okay? Uh, so the final answer should be 14.64 meters approximately right if simplified answer is required. So the distance uh, between the building and the point of observation A is 20 meters and the flagstaff the length of the flagstaff L is 14.64 meters. So simply use the knowledge of trigonometric ratios that we have gained uh, from the topic of trigonometry to solve these questions based on height and distance.